So he recently, so he, re- so it hasn't been the time yet. Sure. It says twenty twenty two. Remember back in there? We just like that. That means like. I really, I don't know. So he probably was deferred for something. So why he can't give them twenty two twenty two? Did you do something wrong? Did you no, on? I didn't do anything wrong. No, Mm-mm. it just popped up when I put in whole blood. Okay. So do I need... No, probably the, yeah, probably the part over. Well, I'm not going to be able to get blood? I don't think so. It's saying your next eligibility date is um, February 3rd. Oh. Uh, 2222. What would be the reason behind that? Considering uh-huh. I haven't given blood since, like I said... Like years ago in Texas, you said late, like... Late, late, 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, almost like 17 down in, years ago. Down in Texas. Right. I haven't even tried to do a pill because I've been busy. Yeah. I have my supervisor come and check. Between traveling and everything, I, you know, you move around, you're busy. All right, so you are an indefinite uh-huh. deferral. Do you know what that means? No, but I want to know why. I have no idea. So I don't know what happened the last time that you tried to donate, but for right now that you cannot. That's not something that we can change. So I'm going to give you this. I'm going to call this number and see why you're indefinite, okay? Because we can't pull that up. It's not letting it go further than a certain page. So that's what this means. It means that you're an indefinite deferral. And they'll probably pull up your account and explain why you're indefinite. So probably something that happened when you were doing last time. Last time there was no issue. Last time I donated. I, was I know, early well, early two thousands late nineties. Okay, I mean, we're going, you know, issue. that's you know, at least seventeen years then, ago, then. right? So and there wasn't an issue then. I said possibly. I'm not saying there was. I don't know why, but that's why I'm giving you this. My supervisor told me to give you this number to call. Who's your supervisor? And just so you guys know, I am video recording this for okay. my channel. Okay. Okay. Um, I go get him for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 They don't have no, to show a pair. No, no, we just want to make sure that we're covered too on the dance, okay? All right. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't say why, so. Yeah, it's not going to say why. It's just saying. You would think having uh, the very, very blood type that I have that you would want it. You'd be begging me to give it. What's your blood type? The last one there is. The last one? Mm hmm. One that like one in like two million people have. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm trying to figure out exactly why here. it would be that I would be the food and everything when uh, I haven't given blood since late nineties, early two thousands. The issue is, is that they must have found something in the blood test that they gave you um, <clears throat> to make you in, <clears throat> ineligible. Um, it's also it's called an indefinite deferral. We can't do anything here at the site. The only people you can call and try and resolve the whole issue is if you call the 866 number here. That's the only thing we can do. Hmm. Considering I've got the real blood on earth, you would think if you guys are needing it so bad, truly needing it as bad as you guys are saying, that you guys would be begging me to donate. But, that ain't the case, huh? Uh, no, unfortunately, and uh, you don't have a blood type listed either. So I'm not sure if they tried to send you letters or contact you in any way. Um, sometimes with these ineligible or indefinite deferrals, um, they may have wanted you to come in for a sample only, where we just take uh, sample tubes. No, nope. you've had the overmittance from nope, the Red Cross. Nothing. Okay. The when best thing last I can time do, I gave blood, I got no reply back, and I was in the same place for like four months after I gave blood. Okay. Then things happened, and I moved back up to New York. Okay. Well, I mean, it was down in Texas that I gave it. It was down in Temple, Texas. Conrad Hospital. 
Okay, with the American Red Cross? Yep. All right, so like I said, that's that kind of makes it even more difficult for us because that's a completely different region. Um, but again, if you call this 866 number, this is our, our national headquarters. They'll be able to answer any questions that you may have. Again, unfortunately, I can't answer anything for you here at the site. It doesn't give me any other information than your next eligibility date of February 3rd, 2222. So that's the only information I've been providing. Which is insane. Why is that? 2022. You don't find that in any way an insane date? Well, it is, but that's how we know that it's a, you're in, in a, um, indefinite deferral. So some tests or something must have come up in your blood. They that, didn't notify me about anything. Okay, well, like I said, if you like... And I know that I ain't got no diseases or nothing because every six months... I get tested for A to Z, every disease you can think of. Okay. And again, from AIDS I, to Xanthidemol, which is an actual disease. Okay. Um, comes from the Xanthia region, but it is an actual disease. Okay. It's not very pretty. So, you get boils and explosive diarrhea and puking and bleeding. It's just not a good disease. <laughs> um, there's one of two things we can do. As I can either have you call them personally, or if you'd like, I can get on the phone with them myself. But... Even still, even if we did get an answer for you, there's no way to have us allow you to donate today, because after they clear well, you. Well, what the... this what this means is I'm gonna I'll call them, but the next letter I get from you guys, unless it's got dollar amounts on what you give me for my blood, I'm not coming in because uh, this is a waste of time. It'd be a waste of time otherwise. Okay, and I, I do understand your frustration, but again, I, because I I've got do. a very extremely red blood type. One in like two million people have my blood type. What's your blood type? And you guys tell me you guys don't want my blood. Oh, by the way, just so you know, I have a video channel and everything on my day, I video it and put it on it. Okay. And you, that's why I've been holding the phone where I have it. It's on video. Okay, well, you never obtained my permission to record me either, so. That under law, I don't have to do. Actually, yes, you do. Um, but I'm not going to, you know, that's beside the point. Uh, if you'd like, we can call them right now and try and get you an answer. No, I'll, or you I'll call, call them when I get home. Thank okay. you. Okay, yeah, I, I do apologize about that. Once again, it always comes down to it. No, 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 There we go. Well, my friends, looks like once again, political reasons is what it is. And they're going to say that I can't. So, well, everyone still go to Red Cross and donate because it's supposed to go to help the troops or accident victims, um, blah, 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 stuff like that. All right. But for now, this is clearly out of nature, saying, I'm going to have some fun legally with the Red Cross. I will call this number here, which I will put up so that you guys can see the number. This is the number they say is for the main office of the Red Cross. For information on blood donor. All right, so I'll uh, be letting everyone know what they say after that, and I will go from there. Until then, stay safe, stay warm. If you're in Alaska or upstate New York, any place where it snows and it's cold, and above all, Stay cool to each other. Have fun. And be happy. Goodbye.